Hi, it's Joel again, and today what we're doing is using Adobe Illustrator to create a robot using shapes and lines. And this here is what we're doing, this simple robot. Now, I can't draw, but I can manipulate shapes and lines pretty well, so what I've done is I've created this robot, and the task for the students is to recreate this as closely as possible using the shape tool, using lines, using different strokes and, width and weights so that they can learn the basics of using Illustrator by copying my design here. So what follows is a tutorial of how I showed my students how I did this in Illustrator. So here's Illustrator and here's the picture that I've got already done. And as you can see, I've got almost every shape um, available here. I've got some rectangles, squares, stars, um, polygons, circles, filled circles, even a little arc here for the mouth. Very, very simple, um, but this is what I want the students to do. So I'm going to create a new document. And for this, I just want a basic RGB, just using the template here, and press OK. All right, so I've got the card in front of me. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the, the head. So I'm going to use my uh, rectangle tool here. I'm going to make sure that the stroke is on black and I want the fill to be on white. And I'm just going to draw the square out like this for the head. Now, I think the, the stroke is a bit thin there, so I might just up the stroke by a few points. Let's try three and see how that looks, maybe four. Yeah, four looks good. So there's my head. So now I'm going to draw the eye. So I'm going to hold on the rectangle tool until I can get the ellipse tool here. And I'm going to draw a fairly big eye there using my guidelines so I know that it's a perfect circle. That looks good to me. Now I'm going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil, maybe about that big. And this one I do want to fill it. I want to fill it with black. So now it's filled with black. And using my selection tool over here, I'm just going to put that into position. So it's about like that. That looks pretty good to me. And then using my marquee, put that on here and put that there. So that looks good. And if I just click away from that, I can see that's actually on top. That's where I want it to be. Uh, and that's because I created this shape after I created the head shape there. Now, just to save some time, I'm just going to copy and paste that. So I'm just going to click on the big circle and then shift click on the pupil here. So they're both selected. I'm going to choose edit copy and then edit paste. And I'm just going to move that into position using the guidelines again. That looks pretty good there. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is draw some antennas. So I've got my line tool here. I've got a four stroke. That's good. I'm just going to just draw one up that's like that, like that and draw one over here that looks about like that. That looks fine. And I'm going to draw another circle here. Should already be perfect there. Let's make sure that's a black fill. There we go. Use my black arrow tool, put that into position. That looks good. Edit, copy it, edit, paste it, move that over here. All right. Next step is to do the smile. So now I'm going to hold the line tool and choose the arc tool. And I'm just going to click here, at just for the top part of this mouth, and go all the way to the middle, just over like that. That looks good. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm just still holding it down here. I'm going to let it go. Now I'm going to click it again and move it up to, the, to this side. But as you can see, the arc is going the wrong way. But never mind, we can fix that. I've still got my finger on the button, on my mouse button, and while I do that, I'm just going to press the F key, and that flips it. So now I'm just getting it so it's um, the right, the guide's giving me a good idea of where it should go. That looks pretty good to me. All right, now I'm going to go back to my shape tool, go back to my rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw, I'm going to actually make sure that it's got a white fill. I'm going to draw the neck, which will be pretty easy to do. There we go. So roughly the neck that I want. Now I'm going to draw the body and I'm using my guidelines here, very valuable to show me exactly where I should go. That looks good to me. Something around like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to draw the arm. So I'm going to draw an arm like this. And now I'm going to draw the hand. And the hand is what, what I use for the hand is the polygon. So click and hold the shape tool, choose the polygon. And I'm just going to do it over this side. I'm just going to just do a simple polygon here. 
that's about the right one. Now I've got my finger down on it and I can make it bigger or smaller but I can rotate it and I want to rotate it so it's pretty much um, on the left here so it'll be flush with the arm, a bit smaller than that actually, maybe like that. I think will look good, roughly good. Use my selection tool to move it down into position and there you go. Now I'm going to use my marquee again. I'm going to drag a little box around these two. I'm going to go to Edit Copy and then Edit Paste for my arm. Now it's the wrong way around. There are a couple of things that you can do to fix this. I'm going to go to Object and go to Arrange. Sorry, Object and Transform. Try that again. Object and Transform. Oh, my mouse is playing tricks with me. Object, Transform and choose Reflect. Reflect is what I want. Vertical is what I want. Press OK. Perfect. Now I'm going to put that in a position using my guidelines to get it exactly where I want it. There we go. Next I'm going to draw the legs. So that's just a simple rectangle here. Draw a leg there. Do it again. Edit copy, edit paste. Even though it's pretty easy to do it, it's, um, it's good to have them both the same. You get that consistency. Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to do a star. So I'm going to hold on the rectangle tool and choose a star this time. And I'm just going to do it over here. I'll just do a nice star that looks like that. Now, this star is a bit thick because I like the outline of the robot to be thick, but I want this to be a bit thinner. So I'm going to bring this down to two, I think. And I'm going to move that now into position using my black arrow and move that into position. Okay. So now I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. So now I have a second star, but I want this star to be smaller. Now I could scale it, but the best thing to do is just to scale it by a percentage. If this is 100%, I want this to be, say, 80%. So where it has my options over here, and you can see I've got my link turned on, so whatever I do for the width, I do for the height as well. And instead, I'm going to get rid of that points, and I'm just going to choose 80% which has changed exactly the width has now scaled down 80%, so has the height. So now I'm going to move it into position and put it just like that. That looks great. All right, and then I'm going to choose my arc tool. I'm going to go back to the line tool, and I still want it on two stroke, so I'm going to have it on two stroke there. And I'm going to draw a line here, and I'm going to hold down my shift key so I have a perfectly straight line like that. I'll do another one just here as well. And there we go. So it's not exactly the same if I switch to here. Obviously, that looks a bit different, but that's okay. We can allow for differences here. But the point is that by doing this activity, the students have learned how to use the shape tool by using the rectangle, using the ellipse tool, using the star tool, using the polygon tool, doing some copying and pasting, doing a little bit of fill, um, positioning things, how you do it, even scaling it to percentages so that we can get it. And using all of those skills will be really useful for next week when my students are going to be creating their own logos. So that's how I've created my little robot here. You could either use this robot or you could choose your own different shape that you want the students to do. I found the kids pretty engaged doing this. They really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next time.